Hello everyone, I am Yan Ru, your teaching assistant for this course CI6202, Information Architecture and Design. In this short tutorial, I will demonstrate how my info works, and I hope you will find it useful. As you may know, my info is a personal reference information manager, and each personal reference library is a collection of information but it's grouped in topics. My info is a very simple, intuitive, and user-friendly software. Now, in order to learn the basics of the software, I am going to create my personal reference information, and I will just use the two trips that I had this month as an example. So, if you haven't downloaded my info, I suggest you go to this website, milenix.com slash myinfo to download the software. It has 28 days free trial for Windows. After you download it and install it, now let's run it. Since I used it for a few days, and uh, so I'll just choose continue. This is the interface when it just started. So the first thing we need to do is to create a new document, a new topic. I can enter a name here and I will just enter um, my info. And it's a blank topic. Select OK. and. Here, you can create many documents under this topic. So, my first document, I will name it as Brandon. This is the first trip that I had in September. As you can see, once you change the name here, the name here also changes accordingly. You can also add many different tags. The tags are especially useful. If you have many documents, the tags will facilitate your searching. So I will also add a tag here. The London trip is a conference trip. So I will put conference trip. This big blanket, blank area here, you can enter all the details of the London trip. So for now, I will leave it like this and we continue to do some other stuff. I will create some sub-documents and other types of documents, such as the web documents and file documents. So I come back to the left column and I right-click and I can select sub-document. I want to name the first document as some general information about the London trip. And in the general information, I can put the dates of my trip, which is from the 7th September to 17th September. I can also put the flight number, which is EK354. I'm just making it up, but it's probably correct. And I will put the departure terminal in Changi Airport, which is Terminal 2. You have to know the terminal to go. And arrival, it is in Gatwick Airport. This is also very important because I will be checking the route from the airport to the hotels. London has three airports. The biggest is Heathrow Airport, and Gatwick is the second largest airport in London. So if I don't check this, I will go to Heathrow, probably. Okay, so for now, I can also give the text many different fonts and styles. The reason why I said this software is very intuitive because it 
very similar to Microsoft Office Word. So I highlight this and right click and I can give it style. There are many different styles to choose from and I will choose heading style. So it becomes a heading. And this flight number, I can also make it a heading. So the style changes. I can also change the font of the text. See, this is just like Word. So I will just give it some random font. OK, this is just for demonstration purpose. So I'll leave it like this. Besides the general information, I can also create some other parallel documents as general information. So which means they are all the child document or sub document of London. So I just right click general information and select document or I can right click London and select sub document. Both ways are OK. So I will use this one and I can say I go to London for the conference. So I have to know the programs of the conference. And here I am going to insert some web sources. So I will put a select a web document and the URL that I want to use is this one. So as you can see, it is automatically loading the web page. Okay? So other than programs, I also have a commendation. So direct, directly inserting the web document is one way for URLs. And the other way, of course, is to just copy paste the URL. So I will do it like this. And the way to visit the URL is the same as Word document. Just press Control and click. OK. So other than the accommodation, I also have sightseeing. This is all example. These are the first four are all common documents and the last one is a web document. Now I am going to create some other document document from file. So you can directly insert some files. Let's try a PDF first. See the PDF is here now. And I can also try with a Word document. So this is a Word document. See, my info is also showing the different icons. So you know this document is a Word document, and the above document is a PDF document. Very simple. Under the programs, I am going to insert another sub-document, which is called presentations. Because I am going to make two presentations during the conference. So the first presentation is on Monday. And the second presentation is on Thursday. OK. So because this is like a task to me, I will make it a task document. How to make a task document? Any of the document type that we have here can be changed to a task document. The steps is simple. You just come to the right side of the screen and you will see a due date. Once you enter the due date, 
it becomes a task document. I can also set a reminder, which is tomorrow. Okay, so as you can see, the icon changed a little bit and it becomes a task. I can also do the same for Thursday. I set a due date and a reminder is whether to set a reminder is up to you. Okay, so I believe this is very intuitive. Now I am going to create a parallel document to London. So I right click London and select documents. And it is another trip that I'm going to have is Beijing. I believe I can do all the same stuff under the document of Beijing. So this is basically how my info works. All the buttons here are very easy, and I will leave it to you to explore the buttons. I would say the advantage of my info is that it can organize many different forms of files. It's web, no matter it's web files and PDF files and work files and Excel files and even data files. You can all put it here and you can add notes to it and you can see it very directly so I guess this is why I like my info so that's it very simple and if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me thank you oh one last thing is that if you choose the close button on the um, upper right corner is not going to close the program completely. So you have to go to file and select exit to completely exit the program. But of course, you have to save your work first. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. Bye.